All right, this video is part five in a series of videos about how to set up a Raspberry Pi for remote monitoring and control. Uh, before we jump into Apache, MySQL, and PHP installs, which are a little more involved in the stuff we've done so far, uh, I want to uh, simplify things for you as a user, uh, since this this video series is basically aimed at users who are sort of noobs, so to speak, uh, and aren't really familiar with Linux or Raspberry Pis. Uh, so we're going to jump in and teach you how to set up VNC real quick, uh, so you can log into the Pi remotely from your uh, computer, and then uh, we'll um, we'll look at how to set a static IP address. So you can always go to the same IP address. Uh, so um, the first thing you want to do is log into your Pi through the desktop through the using the monitor, mouse, and keyboard like you normally would, or alternatively. Uh, if you watch the other video on how to set up SSH, you can log in via SSH or Secure Shell. And uh, I have done that here. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, you should go back to the previous video that describes how to do that. All right, so once you're in, uh, we'll just go, uh, let's see, we'll go sudo. Oh, maybe I'm disconnected. So, okay, we'll make a new session. Uh, I apologize for the delay. All right, so you'll go sudo raspi config like we did before to enable SSH, and then we'll go under advanced options. Uh, nope, not advanced options, my bad. It's under localization options, no. <laughs> Interfacing options, there we go, I apologize. Uh, we'll go to VNC, and you want to say yes, so you use the right and left arrows to select and enter, and now you'll see that VNC server is enabled. Then you can go down to uh, select and finish with the tab tab, hit enter on the finish, and you're done. VNC is enabled. So now from your local computer, whatever it may be, you want to go to this website. Of course, I'll put a link in the description, and download the VNC viewer. Once you do that, you'll be able to execute it. I don't think there's even an install for it. And uh, so when you double click on it, it'll ask you if you really want to run the software. You say yes, it comes up. And then uh, you can create a new connection, um, at which point you'll put in the IP address, uh, the same one that you use for SSH. And you can call it whatever you want to call it. And uh, and then you'll click OK to connect to it. Once you've done that, it'll save it for you. And for example, uh, I'll take us to the Trainer Pi desktop now. And you'll see that I actually have the terminal open. Uh, just a reminder how to open that quickly. If you go down under Start, Accessories, Terminal. Uh, OK, so now we've enabled that. and. Uh, without dragging you through a, a bunch of code through SSH, because this can be done by SSH, and that's how I set it up, but uh, to set a static IP address uh, the easy way, you click on your uh, network card, uh, right click on it, and then left click on wireless and wired network settings. You're going to pick the, inter the interface Ethernet 0 for the wired connection. Or if you're in a Raspberry Pi 3, you can pick the uh, the Wi-Fi, which would be probably WLAN 0 or WLAN 1. <coughs> uh, and then you can set the IP address. I'll do the same IP that this is set up on already. And uh, you'll need your router's IP address. Um, you should refer to your service provider or... Uh, network administrator or if you know how to find your router's IP address you can do that. Um, I'm not going to get into complex DNS stuff and also uh, you'll want the DNS. Mine is the same here. And then you click apply. You can also click automatically configure empty options and Linux will likely detect it and set it up. So now you're set with a static IP address um, on your Raspberry Pi. So that's the easy way to do that right from the desktop. Um, that'll save you a whole lot of code and aggravation and hassle because it's a little more complex from the secure shell side of things. 
So uh, I hope that helps everyone. Uh, I hope you're uh, you're learning from this course. And if you are, or if you have questions, certainly please uh, leave comments and questions in the feedback. And I will most certainly get back to you. I respond to all of my YouTube comments, um, and I plan to continue doing that unless it just gets out of hand and I can't keep up, but I, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Anyway, uh, that said, this is part five. This is how to set up VNC and how to set a static IP address on your Raspberry Pi. Um, once this is done, our next course, part six, will go into how to install Apache web server, uh, PHP, and MySQL, and we'll go into setting those up, uh, probably break that into a couple of pieces. Um, anyway, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.